bago ang uh, no we have uh, our uh, resource persons na inimbita natin ngayon ay si former Banban Mayor Alice Go uh, at saka si Mayor uh, of Sual Pangasinan uh, Mayor uh, Kalugay and uh, Miss uh, Ronaline Baterna Miss uh, Cassandra Ong uh, Mayor Go, meron ka bang abogadong kasama? Uh, Your Honor, meron po. Uh, pwede, uh, where, where is the mayor of, uh, where is the lawyer of uh, Miss Alice Go? Can you please enter your appearance before this committee? Good afternoon, Your Honor, uh, Attorney Stephen David, respectfully appearing as counsel for Alice Go, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, Attorney uh, Stephen David. At Attorney Stephen David, right? Okay. Uh, si Miss Ronalyn Baterna, do you have a lawyer with you? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Siya ba yung dati mong lawyer na kasama rito? Uh, iba na po, Mr. Chair. Aba, iba, iba lawyer mo ah. So, may I ask you to please, uh, where's the lawyer of uh, Ronalyn Baterna? Can you please enter your appearance before the committee? Mr. Chair, uh, good morning. I'm Attorney Romar Cambri, uh, respectfully appearing for uh, Ronnie Ring Baterna. R uh, Attorney? Romar Cambri. Cambria. Cambri. Cambri. Yes, uh, Attorney Cambri. Yes, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, si Miss Cassandra Ong, uh, I, I, um, do you have a lawyer with you? Can we ask your lawyer to please enter your appearance before the committee? Good morning, Your Honor, Attorney Rafael Andrade, respectfully appearing as counsel for Ms. Cassandra Leong. Okay, salamat. What about si Mayor Kalugay? Meron ka bang uh, uh, abogado kasama? Meron po, Mr. Chair. Can we ask your lawyer to please enter your appearance before this committee? Good, after, good afternoon, Your Honor. I'm Attorney Gerald M. Velasco, respectfully entering appearance as counsel for Mayor Rizaldo Kalugay. Okay, maraming salamat po. Let me remind the councils of our resource persons that your role in this committee hearing is limited only to advising your clients with their legal rights, okay? Hindi ho kayo pwedeng mag-coach kung meron po silang sagot. Pabayaan niyo po silang sumagot. Uh, and uh, the members would uh, appreciate if our resource persons will cooperate uh, with uh, this committee. So, we have a list of interpolators, no? Uh, but bago yan, tanoyin ko muna si Ms. Cassandra Ong. Ms. Cassandra Ong, kamusta ka na? Kamusta na ang iyong head? Good afternoon po, Mr. Chair. Okay lang po. Okay ka na? Yes yung po, Yung blood Chair. pressure mo, hindi na bumababa? Oh, may okay. maintenance naman po. Ah, okay, sige. Kasi yung huli na hearing natin ay medyo nagkaroon kayata ng hypertension, di ba? Uh, uh, kaya hindi tayo natuloy dun sa pagtatanong. No? Uh, kung naalala mo lang na yung huling uh, nandito ka, tinanong kita no? kung uh, saan ka nag-aral. Yun ulit ang tanong ko sa iyo ngayon. Saan ka, ka nag-aral? Sa Pilipinas po. Ah, sa Pilipinas. Opo. Anong school? Uh, Chinese school po. Chinese school? Opo. Saan? Sa Binondo. Sa Binondo? Hmm. Binondo Chinese School. Anong pangalan ng Chinese school? Manila Patriotic. Uh, yung last po ba? Ah, ba't marami ka bang pinasukang eskwelahan? Sa elementary muna. Sige, sa elementary. Saan ka nag-aral? Elementary. Uh, nag... Pinakalas ko po is Manila Patriotic School po. Manila Patriotic School sa Binondo? Yes po. Ah, hindi kasi ako familiar dun sa, sa school na yon. So, maybe Comsec, can we ask... Uh, yung registration ng Manila Patriotic School na yon Elementary, doon ka rin ba nag-aral? 
Elementary lang po yung inaral ko. Ah, so high school, hindi ka na tumuloy? Hindi po. Nag-aral ka na sa China? Hindi po. Ay, hindi ka ba nag-aral sa China? Ah, uh, hindi ka. So, dito ka lang sa Pilipinas, elementary lang. Hanggang anong grade? Grade 6? Grade grade 6? Hindi po yata natapos eh. Ah, grade 5. Hmm. So, meron akong picture dito. Nakatoga ka ng graduation. Hmm. Ano ito? Ah, uh, Mukhang high school graduation yata to o college eh. Can we ask the ah. page to please show this to Miss Cassie Ong? Yeah. Anong school to? Uh, public school po yan, uh, ALS po. Uh, pero po, uh, hindi po yan natapos. Bali, parang pumunta lang ako ng ilang beses. Uh, pero yung ALS, di ba, high school yan? Oh. Diba yung pang high school yung ALS? Parang... Diba? Uh, oh. Alternative, Alternative learning, system. learning system, diba? So, meron kang nakarehistro ka no sa DepEd na nag-avail ka ng ALS. Hindi ko po sure. Ah, hindi. Mr. Chair. Eh, kasi, paano ka naka-enroll sa ALS kung hindi ka... Uh, ano? Uh, kasi pag nag-enroll ka, siyempre, mariregister yung pangalan mo ron, diba? Diba? Opo. O oh, eh, ganda nga ng picture mo rito. Graduate ka, oh. Sabi ni Rona Limbaterna, di, di ba? Sa ano to? Sa Manila ito? Ay, di ba ikaw nagsabi noon? Nakala ko si Rona Lin, eh. So si, di ba? High school graduation picture nyo to. So, uh, sa ALS po yan, Mr. Chair. Tapos, ah... Uh... Nakipicture lang po ako dyan. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Kasi uniform yata ito ng Chiang Kai-shek. Ano eh? Hindi ba? Hindi ka ba sa Chiang Kai-shek? Chiang Kai-shek Award. Oh, eh, meron ka pa award dito eh. Oh. Merong... Oo. Oh. So, ito... Eh, bakit ka may ganitong picture? Yan. How do we show this? Yan. Paki ano nga? Paki pakita nga kay Mr. Ano? Chair, um, in the spirit of uh, of uh, generosity, maybe we can share the picture in our LED screens on both sides. O sige, paki ang uh, sekretaryat, paki nga. Uh, please. So sige, babang inaano natin 'yan. Uh, so Nagpa-picture ka lang ng toga. Oh. Ah, Pakisoli daw yung, yung cellphone ni Congressman Fernandez pagkatapos. <laughs> Baka may mga picture niya, may tinatago kasi siya dyan. Okay um, <laughs> Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair, I would like to... Uh... Mr. Chairman, I, uh, I refuse to uh, surrender my cellphone. Okay, okay. Because I, there are a lot of pictures in here I, I that perfect... might incriminate myself. Okay, I perfectly understand okay. your situation, <laughs> Congressman Fernandez. So, And uh, if the... Uh, If the uh, resource persons have uh, uh, manifested that this toga that uh, she was using was used uh, not really as a uh, manifestation of her being uh, a graduate of that school, then uh, we tend to believe her. We okay. Believe her. So, no, 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 no more uh, taking this picture and be put in that uh, monitor. Mr. Chair. Okay. Yes, Congressman Ako. Nung una po, may mga informasyon si Honorable Fernandez na hindi ko alam eh. Ngayon, ito na naman. <laughs> may no kung si Madam Kasi ang nagpadala sa kanya ng picture na yan? Uh, Kasi, ikaw ba nagpadala ng picture na yan kay Congressman Fernandez? Hindi po, Mr. Chair. Oh. Oh, sige. So, uh, gaya ng tanong ko kanina, uh, nasagot mo naman, sabi mo naman ay uh, elementary, no? Pero yung picture na yan, pang high school, nagpa-picture ka lang. Di ba? Okay. Saan mo ginamit yung picture na yan? Na naka-ano ka? Naka-toga ka? Wala uh, lang. Para lang meron ka lang ano, profile pic. Bali po, 
I think graduation po ng ALS niyon. Tapos uh, pumunta lang po ako. Tapos sakto may may ano dang... Ah, so sum sumali ka lang sa picture. Oh, oh. Tapos... Pero hindi mo natapos yung ALS mo. Uh, pumasok lang ako. Dalawang beses, tatlong beses kasi gusto ko lang po itry. Natatandaan mo yung pangalan ng teacher na na napasukan mo? Uh, Ma'am Ma Ma Daisy. Daisy. Apo. Uh, so, wala, ba, wala ka rin teacher na Rubilin, ang pangalan? Wala, no? Sige. Okay, sige. Before we proceed, uh, let me acknowledge the presence of Congresswoman Glona Labad-Labad. Congressman Wilter Palma, and of course, Congressman Janice Salimbangon. Welcome to the committee hearing. So, the next to interpolate in the list, for those of you who have not signified their intention to propound question to our resource persons, please ask the committee secretary uh, so that you will be listed in the list. So, ang unang magtatanong... Uh, sa uh, uh, ay ang ating uh, Congresswoman uh, Jinky Luistro. You are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I wish to address my guest questions to Alice Goo. Ma'am, pwede po bang malaman yung totoong pangalan ninyo? Your Honor, ang pangalan ko po Alice Lial Go. Alice Lial Goo. Would it be okay with you kung tawagin kitang Alice? Yes po, Your Honor. Alice, before ka na naging mayor ng Banban, gaano katagal ka nang nakatira sa Banban? Uh, Your Honor, um, hindi ko po maalala yung exact years, pero matagal na matagal na po ako sa Banban. Can you at least give me an approximate length of years? More than 10 years ba? O more than 20 years? Uh, more than 20 years po. More than 20 years. And you will agree with me that 20 years is stay in Bamban is really long enough. Diba? And I would assume also na imbibe mo na ang kultura, ang pamumuhay, at maging ang ugali na mga taong nakatira sa Bamban. Tama ba ako? Can you please enlighten us? Ano ang kabuhayan doon sa Bamban 20 years ago? Uh, Your Honor, um, nakatira, po, nakatira po ako sa Bamban, pero as what I mentioned din po sa Senate before, nasa loob lang po kami ng farm, ng pigiri, hindi po kami masyado lumalabas, pero as what I understand naman po sa municipality po ng Bamban ay farming po. Farming is the main industry in Bamban. Uh, Ma'am, if I'm not mistaken po, farming and quarry. Farming and quarry. Alin ang mas lamang? Yung bang farming or yung quarry? Uh, Your Honor, tingin ko po farming. Kasi and marami pong farmers. Mas marami ang farmers kesa sa mga quarry workers. Tama ba? Yes po ma'am. That was 20 years ago. Now let's move a little forward. 10 years ago, kumusta ang buhay sa Bamban? I believe 10 years ago, ganun pa rin po, Your ganun Honor. Ganun pa rin. So would you agree with me if I would say, kung anong buhay ng mga taga Bamban 20 years ago, ganun pa rin ang buhay nila 10 years ago? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. How about before you became a mayor, anong kabuhayan sa Bamban? Uh, ang kabuhayan po sa Bamban, maliban po doon sa na-mention ko po na farmer, ay meron din po ibang nagtatrabaho po sa Clark. As workers po. And would you say na ang buhay sa Bamban for the length of 20 years, madali ba o mahirap para sa mga mamamayan ng Bamban? What do you think? From the point of view of an ordinary resident of Bamban, bago ka naging mayor, how do you appreciate the life in Bamban? Madali ba? Masagana ba? Mahirap ba? Uh, I believe, Your Honor, um, hindi po madali para sa kanila. At tingin ko rin po, marami pa rin po yung mahihirap. 
So, you will agree with me if I would say, mahirap ang buhay sa bamban. Your Honor, tingin ko po hindi naman po lahat, pero for sure po meron po. Alin ang mas lamang, ang mahirap o ang mayaman? Uh, Your Honor, mas lamang po ang mahirap. Mas lamang ang mahirap. And soon enough, Mayor, tumakbo ka bilang Mayor, di ba? Tama bang isipin na because of your observation na mahirap ang buhay sa bamban, na antig ang kalooban mo, na awa ka sa mga tao, na ngarap pa ka para sa kanila, ng kaginhawahan. Tama ba yun, Mayor? Your Honor, that's one of the reasons din po. So you confirm na ang dahilan kung bakit tumakbo kang Mayor, gusto mong paunla rin ang mga tao sa bamban. Your Honor, that's one of the reasons po. Opo. May I know, Mayor, nung na-elect po ba kayo, ano pong type of municipality ang Bamban as to income classification? Your Honor, uh, second class municipality po. Second class municipality. And if you still remember, magkano ho ba ang kita ng LGU ng Bamban being a second class municipality? Uh, Your Honor, I have no figure po. Uh, and hindi ko po maalala po yung data po. But nevertheless, Ma'am Alice, you recognize the fact na iba kung hindi ka mayor, iba kung mayor ka, kung ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang pangarap mong mapaunlad ang bamban. Tama ba yun? Opo. And the reason kung bakit ka tumakbong mayor, gusto mong paunlarin ang bamban because you believe na pag naging mayor ka, marami kang pwedeng gawin sa bamban. Tama ba? Opo, Your Honor. And one of these things that you can do in Bamban, you can invite and welcome investors. And naniniwala ka rin na itong mga investors na ito, itong mga business establishments na ito, ito ang magpapayaman sa Bamban at ito ang magpapaalwan ng buhay ng mamamayan ng Bamban. Tama ba? Uh, ang belief ko po ay pag nakapag pag nakapag-invite po ng more investors po sa bayan po namin, mabibigyan po ng mas maraming work opportunity po sa mga constituents po namin. And let us move forward, Ma'am Alice, 2022. Tumakbo ka na at umupo ka na bilang mayor. Of course, you confirm that because that is a common knowledge, no? Apo. I'll be showing some pictures, ma'am, ha? Huh? I hope you please enlighten us kung sino itong larawan na ipapakita ko sa'yo. I am referring to the picture on the right of the monitor. Apo. Alice Leal Goo Bamban. Apo. Kayo po ba ito? Yes, Your Honor. And can you please enlighten us? Ano po ba ang nakasulat dito sa poster na ito? Uh, Your Honor, ang alam ko po dyan, yan po ay isang newspaper po na from the, I think, Chinese community na kinakongratulate po nila. Yung daddy ko po. Yung dad ko po kasi isang Chinese. And why are they congratulating your dad who is also a Chinese? Um, sila po yung, ano po eh, uh, since Chinese Tingin ko po, since Chinese po sila, at uh, nag-congratulate po sila through Chinese newspaper. I consulted some people who know how to read these Chinese characters. Mm -hmm. And according to them, the exact translation of these characters goes like this. Congratulations to the first Chinese mayor Alice Leal Goo of Bamban. Uh, Ma'am, wala ang pong ganun na kalagay. Okay. Can we proceed to the next picture? Can you please enlighten us who is in this picture? 
Um, um, for that question, po, uh, I think I cannot answer. Uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination since may pending case po sa akin about the citizenship. About the citizenship. But you, would you agree with me if I would say, kamukha mo yung nasa picture? Uh, Ma'am, I will not confirm po. Let us proceed to the third picture. The third picture is your passport from the Republic of China. Do you confirm this? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I'm not confirming it. Uh, I have eight pending cases on the court. Uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po, Ma'am. Sorry po. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest that the third picture is the picture of the passport of Alice Goo issued by Chinese government where the name of her mother, Lin Wenyi, is indicated and she is described as the dependent of a holder of a special investor resident visa. The mother is even described as from Fujian province. And uh, I wish to go back to the first picture. Miss Alice Goo was described also as from Fujian province. And I understand that Miss Alice Goo acknowledged only the first slide and refused to identify the second and the third slide. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, I wish to manifest that these documents are evidence to show that indeed the nationality of Ms. Goo is Chinese. Nonetheless, Mr. Chair, in order to realize her intention, run to a public position, bring growth and prosperity to the municipality of Bamban, including the people who live there at, Miss Alice Go allowed, if not she's the one who purposely caused the same, the late registration of his birth, and even the application of her Philippine passport. I understand, Mr. Chair, that the right to run to a public office is a right which is exclusive to Filipino citizens. And I wish to manifest as well that this should be dealt with by law because this is something which open the country to issues of national security and interest, Mr. Chair. If I may proceed, Mr. Chair. Bilang Mayor, Ma'am Alice, in line with your vision, paunla rin ang bamban, Bigyan ng kaunlaran ang tagabanban. Ano po ba ang mga kumpanya na dumating sa Bamban during your time as mayor of Bamban? Uh, during my time po, dumating po ang Jollibee. Dumating din po ang McDonald's. Um, dumating din po si RCS po na isang supermarket chain. And supposedly may mga darating pa mga uh, factories and um, restaurants po, ma'am. And would you confirm that it was also during your time nung dumating ang Baufu? Uh, no po, ma'am. You don't? Ang Baufu po is not 2022 po, ma'am. But the business permit signed by you shows the date October 25, 2022. Uh, Ma'am, I think may previous po na mayor's permit. Like start po Let me rephrase my question. Therefore, yeah. it was during your time nung na-renew ang business permit ng Baufu. Do you agree to that? Uh, and sorry, Your Honor, anong year po? 2022, October 25. October 20. Uh, I, I, I think po. Opo. You are the mayor already. As a matter of fact, if the Secretariat can show the business permit, the business permit of Baufu was signed by Miss Alice Goo. 
in her capacity as mayor. And would you confirm as well na yung Zoom U1 Tech dumating din at naisuhan ng business permit during your time? Your Honor, uh, I, I issued the mayor's permit for Zoom U1 because uh, mayroon po silang pack-car license po na pinakita po sa amin. May we direct the resource speaker, Mr. Chair, to limit her answer to the question. The question, Ms. Alice Goo, is pinatototohanan mo ba na sa panahon mo bilang mayor, June 27, 2023, na-create ang Zoom U1 at na-issue ang business permit? Your Honor, I issued the permit for Zunyu 1 with the attachment of PAGCOR license po nila. But you confirmed that you issued the business permit. I issued the business permit with the attachment po ng PAGCOR license po nila. Thank you. Thank you How about Hongsheng Corporation? When was this established? Your Honor, uh, for Hongsheng, I'm not sure with the exact date po. And you will agree with me also that during the Senate hearing, etong tatlong kompanyang ito, whenever you are being interpolated, palaging nababanggit. Yes po. Tama ba? Yes po. Can you enlighten us? Ano po ba ang naging koneksyon, partisipasyon nyo dito sa tatlong kompanyang ito kung bakit parating nababanggit ang mga kompanya na to? Uh, Your Honor, to, I think 2018... Or earlier, hindi lang po talaga ako sure sa exact year, uh, the, the land of the Baofu uh, belongs to me. And I saw... What year is that, Miss Alice? Uh, ma, uh, Your Honor, 2018 or 19. 2018. You are the owner of the of land, land of Baofu. Of the land. 2018. Yeah, 18 or 19. You are not yet the mayor. I'm not yet the mayor. Okay. In 2021, uh, I divest the entire property to the corporation. Po. And can you please cite the exact date when you divested yourself of your interest in Baofu? 2021. September 21, 2021. Uh, I, I believe so, po, ma'am. And that is seven days before you filed your certificate of candidacy for mayor of Bamban. Okay. What therefore is the significance of your ownership of this land with respect to Baofu, Hongsheng, and Sun Yuan? Ano pong kahalagahan ng pag-aari nyo? Uh, Your Honor, um, after year 2021, uh, I owned the land before year 2021. After year 2021, wala na po ako pag-aari. Hongsheng, I don't belong. Zun Yuan, I don't belong din po. What therefore is the connection of Baofu with Hongsheng? Uh, Baofu and Hongsheng, um, as what I understand, Baofu is the property owner and Hongsheng is the license, licensee po. How about Baofu and Zun Yuan? Baofu and Zun Yuan, uh, I think, uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, um, the documents they showed us is... Um, Zun Yu Wan um, leased the par partial, I think, three floors of Baofu. I think we have the contract of it. In other words, Miss Alice, even the buildings which are erected on the lands are owned by Baofu? Tama ba yun? Um, Your Honor, I think I'm not the right person to answer. But as what I understand po from the documents uh, we get from Zun Yu Wan before, yes po. You mentioned earlier sometime in 2018 to 2019, ikaw ang may-ari ng lupa. Yes, ma'am. Then sometime thereafter, nilipat mo sa Baofu. Uh, we formed a company. Um, ang pinaka-share ko is the property. Ang usapan po namin... What is the name of the company? Baofu. Baofu. Yeah. And when we... The initial plan was housing. However, nung ang usapan ay maglalabas na ako ng, ng 
ng in cash. Initial agreement was only the property. Ang pinaka-share ko. And nung usapan ay maglalabas na ako ng pera. Hindi na po ako pumayag. I divested already. And okay. after that po, uh, hindi ko na po alam. Matagal ka ng negosyante, Alice. Tama ba? Uh, your Honor, yes po. And uh, I wish to share the list of the companies owned by Goo Family. Secretariat, please. As a matter of fact, based on my research, your family own 11 out of 12 listed companies, no? The significant observation, Miss Alice, ang may-ari nung 11, lahat family members. And I would assume na mas komportable ka na ang kanegosyo mo ay family member. Tama ba yun? Uh, Your Honor, yung nakita ko po sa harapan ko po, uh, hindi po lahat sa akin. And then, or sa But your akin, name is listed. Um, yeah, yung isa po dyan ay yung one, one, two, three. Yung iba po dyan ay hindi po nag-operate. Hindi po natuloy yung mismong company. Nevertheless, would you confirm that majority of these companies, your name is listed as one of the owners? Yes, Your Honor. And the names of your family members are likewise listed as one of the owners. Do you confirm? Uh, yes, Your Honor. In other words, Miss Alice, sa usapang negosyo, naniniwala ka na dapat ang kasama sa negosyo, kilala mo? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Naniniwala ka din na dapat ang kasama sa negosyo, pinagtitiwalaan mo? Uh, yes, Your Honor. At bago magkaroon ng tiwala, dapat kilala mo na. Tama? Yes, Your Honor. And you will refuse to join any business dealings or business venture kung hindi mo kilala ang mga taong kasama mo. Tama ba? Yes, Your Honor. As a matter of fact, very significant itong list of companies na to. Ayaw mo nang hindi mo kilala. Because most of the incorporators are family members. Do you agree? Uh, hindi naman po sa ayaw ko. Most, at uh, least. Okay. Most. ba? Mm -hmm. Ang maliwanag, Alice, hindi ka sasama sa negosyo kung hindi mo kilala at hindi ka nagtitiwala sa taong kasama mo. Uh, yes po. Correct. Now, I wish to invite your attention to the Articles of Incorporation of Baofu. Secretariat, kindly flash. Nakikilala mo ba itong dokumentong ito? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. This is the Articles of Incorporation of Baofu, yes, correct? Po. Yes po. How about the signature across your name? Do you acknowledge that that belongs to you? Uh, yes po. Yes. Do you know Bao Ying Lin? Uh, Your Honor, uh, I think for the Baofu, uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination because I have pending case po with DOJ human trafficking po. Pero kanina lang, ang sabi mo, Miss Alice, you will not join any business venture unless kilala mo at pinagtitiwalaan mo ang mga tao na fellow incorporators mo. Tama? Do you yes. still confirm that? Uh, I confirm that, Your Honor. And that is enough, Miss Alice. And yes. And now let us proceed to the next incorporator. Please flash the articles of incorporation, please. Do you know Ru Jin Zhang? I invoke my right against self-incrimination po, Your Honor. But again, I, I wish to po. remind you, Miss Alice, of your earlier statement. Ang sabi mo, hindi ka sasama sa isang negosyo kung hindi mo kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga fellow incorporators mo. Your Honor, since may pending case po. Uh, I understand. Opo. Now let us proceed to the third incorporator, Zhang Wang. Do you know him? I invoke my right po ulit, uh, Your Honor. For the information of the committee, Mr. Chair, ito pong si Bao Ying Lin, fellow incorporator ni Alice Go O, sa Baofu, Baofu Corporation is convicted of 3 billion Singaporean dollar money laundering. And this after she made the statement na hindi siya sasama sa isang negosyo 
kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga kasama niya. With respect to Ru Jinzang, Mr. Chair, he is likewise convicted of 3 billion Singaporean dollar money laundering. Again, this is after her statement na hindi siya sasama sa isang negosyo kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang kasama niya. The third incorporator, Xiang Wang, Mr. Chair, used to be with Hongsheng Corporation, whom after the 2023 raid was charged of the crime of cyber, cyber crimes. Again, this is after the statement of Miss Alice Goo na hindi siya sasama sa isang hanap buhay kung hindi niya kilala at pinagtitiwalaan ang mga taong kasama niya. I wish to manifest, Mr. Chair, that this representation humbly submit that Ms. Alice Goo purposely ran for public office in spite of her knowledge that she is not qualified, she being a Chinese national, to be able to welcome business establishments which she believes will bring growth and prosperity to the people of Banban and this business establishments includes Hongsheng, a pogo operator, and Yunzu Wan, also a pogo operator. As a matter of fact, Mr. Chair, dito po sa location ng dalawang company na to, which lease the property of Bao Fu, with whom Ms. Alice transferred her land in exchange of shareholdings sometime in 2021 while maintaining control of the same after the same date dito po na huli ang maraming chinese nationals who are now charged of the cases of money laundering and even qualified human trafficking mr chair uh, your honor if i may just a short interjection eh, para lang ma matanong ko lang si uh, Miss uh, Alice Go, yung bang mga nabanggit na mga pangalan ni Congresswoman Luistro, si Ziyang Wang, si Rujin Zhang, at saka si Bai Yong Lin, uh, did you say nakakilala mo, kikilala mo sila? Mr. Chair, ang kakilala ko po dyan talaga si Wang Ziyang. Si Wang Ziyang. So is this the same Wang Ziyang na nabanggit ni Congresswoman Luistro na nakonvict sa money laundering? Cyber. Cyber. As a cybercrime? Siya ba yun? Uh, Mr. Chair, hindi ko po alam na nakasuhan po siya ng cybercrime. Oh. Okay. So uh, ito ba sila ay ano, nas, galing sa isang probinsya sa China? 